off the mains electrical supply before starting work. Remove and disconnect the existing light switch. It may be useful at this point to mark out or take a photograph of the connections to the existing switch so that the correct wires can easily be transferred to the new dimmer switch. Some existing wiring configurations can be complex, so take care. Check the back box behind the existing light switch. A minimum depth of 35mm is recommended. Remove the dimmer switch faceplate by inserting a flathead screwdriver into the bottom slot and lifting it away from the unit. Remove the plastic film warning label. The signal cable connection, marked S, is not used at all for this installation. It's a low voltage signal wire for use with a Lightwave RF two-way dimmer switch only. Don't connect it to the live mains or you'll damage the unit. Connect the wiring to the dimmer switch carefully following the diagrams in the instruction manual. Any earth wires present must be attached either to the earth terminal located in the back box or capped with a strip connector. The dimmer switch is double insulated so doesn't need to be earthed directly. The switched live wire in may be marked by brown or red tape to emphasize that it's not a neutral wire. Ensure that the terminals are properly tightened and that no bare wire is visible. The Lightwave RF dimmer switch doesn't require a mains neutral wire to be connected. It only needs live in and switched live out wires. Mount the dimmer switch to the back box and ensure that the screws are sufficiently tight to support the product. Don't over tighten as this may cause the chassis to bend. Ensure that the plastic spacer is correctly aligned and that no wires are trapped between the dimmer switch and the back box. Replace the plate. A click sound should be heard to signify that the plate has been correctly fitted. Turn the mains electrical supply back on. Press and hold down both the on and off buttons together until the blue and amber LEDs flash alternately. The dimmer switch is now in linking mode and you have 12 seconds in which to complete the link. Using your smartphone app, press the button intended to be linked. The blue LED on the dimmer switch will flash to confirm that the phone is now linked. If the LED flashes amber, this means the dimmer switch memory is full and no further control devices may be linked with it unless one of the existing remotes is first unlinked. To unlink a control device, first on the dimmer switch, press and hold down both the off and on buttons until the blue and amber LED indicators flash alternately. The dimmer switch is now in linking mode. Then, using the app, Press the button intended to be unlinked. The amber LED indicator light on the dimmer switch will flash to confirm that the remote is now unlinked. To change the dimming level, press the on and off button until the blue and amber LED indicators flash alternately. Then, press the on button twice. You have now entered the dimming menu. Use the OFF button to decrease the dimming range and the ON button to increase the dimming range. To store this level, hold down the ON and the OFF button and the blue LED will flash rapidly to indicate that it has been stored.